Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're having a good old time up here. Somebody said, Oh, it's a good crowd. And I said, Yeah. In the meantime, I'm like, It's hot. Yeah. Kaylee's like, it'll blow my dress. We got Marilyn Monroe with the severe. That's like, where? She's looking around the congregation. I'm like, no, she's not here. It's just her dress is blowing. So I guess, I don't know. It was funny then. You guys aren't laughing. We, it was we were dying. So I don't know. It's good to, ooh, this is loud. It is good to see you all today. Let's stay in there. There's a good spirit in the house of the Lord today. Nothing like the joy of the Lord. We had a good time in Sunday school. Oni got a grammar lesson. <laughs> She's going to be mumbling in her sleep tonight saying liberally. <laughs> but I am so happy to be in the house of the Lord. It's good to see we have many visitors today. We are especially happy to see Kenny Jr. today. We have been waiting. We're so excited. I told him, like, you made my day. <laughs> so we're glad everyone is here. If you're a visitor, we're glad to have you. I might not know your name. I know his name. That's why he got picked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tanya's good to see you. We haven't seen you in a long time. Jose and Evelyn, they're not visitors. They're just family back in town. <laughs> so, like, I think we should get them here all the time. Amen, amen. Should we take a vote? Let's vote. Evelyn, Jose, you're all the time. Motion carry. You're here. <laughs> Not going home. You're staying here. So we are. I'm happy today. Are you happy? Yeah. Let's sing. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve.
Decide to sit in the middle of the aisle there, so you, you got to have a body part removed just to sit there. Yeah. Thank the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, for my and um, salvation for um, Terry's family. And uh, praise the Lord. I got to talk to Chrissy last night on um, video and her mom. So, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God do what he's best at. Amen. Uh, I pray for my family. I just found out that a 14 year old, a baby, got hit by a car. I don't know what the details are, but he's in the first week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord here today. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, keep our focus on Him. Amen. 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 Get in there. Let's worship. Lift Him up. All right. Remember the church. Thank you, uh, some that aren't here today for whatever reason, God knows what they're in need of. And, all right. 
Let's pray together, church. Father, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus for each and every person that's here this morning. Lord, we just ask that you would have your way throughout this service. We lift up these needs before you. Every prayer request that's been given forth. God, there's nothing that's too difficult for you. Salvation, Lord, you gave that freely. Deliverance, you provided what's necessary. Healing, you took the stripes, Lord, that we were healed. God, we just ask that you would have your way in every situation and every need. Continue to touch those that are lost and undone. Have mercy upon them, Lord. Speak to their hearts as only you can. Let the presence of your Holy Spirit, Lord, soften their wills. Bring them to a place of understanding. Have your way through everything that's done here this morning. We just want to honor you today in your house. We're here to worship you. We love you. We thank you for all that you've done and that you're blessing us with. In Jesus' name, we ask each and every one of these things. Your will be done. We praise you today. Amen. 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 Thank you. Oh, everybody will be happy over there. Let's sing today. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord.
Also, to continue with blessings on this church as well. Yes, Lord. And in Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen.
Thank you, Lord. I sure ain't singing. Bible, if you're familiar with Babylon and kids, you can be dismissed. Go ahead and let them go to Children's Church. Lord said, I'm going to go down and see what they're up to. They're in unity. No telling what they can accomplish. They were doing the wrong thing. God wasn't blessing what they were doing. <laughs> but just because of the unity, they were being able to do what they put their minds to do. Right. And there ain't no reason that the church shouldn't be exploding today. Yeah. 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 Lord. If people would get in the unity, yeah. Yeah. Lord, yeah. Christ was really the head of the body the way that he's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. And with the blessing of God and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, yeah. should be nothing stopping us. Yeah. 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 That's right. Amen. I'm to be the church. Yeah. Good to have Brother Jose here. Didn't didn't know he was coming this weekend, and I might have had him preach this morning. He's, <laughs> he's, stuck, he's stuck here on us. It's all right. Say, say something for the Lord over there, brother. I know you love the Lord. Dios le bendiga a todos. God bless everyone today. ¿Cómo se sienten hoy? How do you feel today? Se siente la presencia yeah. de Dios. You feel the presence of God? Yeah. 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 God is here in this yes. afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Y lo que usted viene a buscar, recíbalo. And what you came to get, you're going to receive. Yeah. Recuerda que en Hebreos capítulo 10 y el verso 37. Remember that in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 13. El que ha de venir vendrá y no tardará. He that is to come, he will come and he will not tarry. Al que usted está esperando va a venir. The one that you are waiting for, he will come. Yes. Porque él prometió que él iba a volver. A buscar a su pueblo. Because he promised that he will be back to get his people. Así que peleen la buena batalla. So fight the good fight. El diablo se ha levantado grandemente. The enemy has arisen in a great manner. Sabe que le queda poco tiempo. Because he knows there is little time yeah. left. So usted aproveche bien el tiempo. Yeah. So you take Take a hold of the time. Y métase con Dios y llénese del Espíritu Santo. And seek the Lord and fill yourself with the Holy Spirit. Desde la cabeza hasta los pies. Yeah. From the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Yeah. Solamente podemos pelear contra yeah. el diablo demonio. We can only fight with, against the enemy and his demons. Con la palabra. With the word of God. Yeah. Y llenos de la presencia yeah. de Dios. And filled with the presence of God. Yeah. El diablo es un mentiroso. The devil is a liar. Usted puede llenarse de Dios. Yeah. You can y si usted cayó de la presencia de Dios se siente vacío y si usted le ha fallado a Dios God, hay un Dios que perdona yes. Aleluya, y que levanta yes. y que vuelva y te llena gloria al Señor así que no le tenga miedo al enemigo porque el que está con nosotros us, Aleluya, es más poderoso que el que está en contra de nosotros. Is greater than the one that is against us. Amén. Dios le bendiga. Vamos a seguir nos gozando. Aprovecho el tiempo aquí en la casa de Dios. Take advantage of the time in the house of God. Aleluya. Y no deje que nada le interrumpa. And don't let anything interrupt. Oiga el mensaje que el pastor trae. Listen to the message that the pastor is bringing today. Ahora yo entiendo el sufrimiento de un pastor. Now I understand the suffering of a pastor. Aleluya. Cómo nosotros tratamos de encaminar al pueblo de Dios. How we try to teach the people of God. Y aunque hay gente que son obedientes. Even though there are people that are obedient. Hay gente que son desobedientes. But there are people, there are also people that are disobedient. Aleluya. Y a eso es que tenemos que entender, ¿verdad? Que hay que ayudarlos. Hay que ayudarlos. And we need to help them. Aleluya. Pero también la persona tiene que aprender a ayudarse. But the, the person also has to help themselves. Llénate de Dios. Fill yourself up with God. Y busca a Dios de todo corazón. And seek God with all of your heart. Estamos en los últimos tiempos. We are in the last days. Y el que ha de venir viene. 
Aleluya, va a aparecer en una nube. Y se va a acabar el dolor. Alias, se va a acabar la prueba. Pelea porque es menester que tú pelees. A ver, Dios me lo bendiga, Dios me lo guarde. Well, question for you this morning. I always like to start off with a. Let's, let's get you thinking. Yeah, there will, there will be a test afterwards. <laughs> Boy, will there be a test. And I'm not giving it. Who are you living for today? Amen. Uh, and answer the, the age old questions of, of of life. Where did I come from and why am I here? That's that's everybody right. asks. I don't ask that. I know exactly what that's all about. God created me. His word says that he created me for his good pleasure and to worship him. Have fellowship, relationship with him. Again, we're done. We can go. <laughs> I, just, I just answered the, the, the mystery question of life. Well, that's what it's all about. Well, if you know the Lord, you understand that. If you don't believe in the Creator, then you don't know what your purpose is. And I watch people all the time, all around me, going through life not knowing that, searching and searching and searching purpose, meaning. Can't find it out there. It doesn't exist out there. It's not in anything. It's not in any person of relationship. It's in God. Amen. That's it. But we make a choice and decide as we're going through life, what are we, what are we living this life for? Who are we living it for? See, God gave us life and he gave each and one of us a purpose and we're going to find fulfillment of that in Him. Amen. And until we figure that out, there's no peace, no contentment, That's right. no true joy. Right. It, it really can't be found in those other things that yeah. we try to satisfy with. And, yeah. and when we're doing that, we're really living for two people at that time self and we don't realize it you, know, you, you have a, a father a spiritual father obviously we all have a father we don't hear more profound wisdom but we all have a spiritual father too either God is your heavenly father or if we reject him the word tells us very plainly that Satan is a father Right. Now, if you were to ask most people, there's some that would say just outright admit it. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. But most people wouldn't say that. Oh, no. Are you serving God? No. Just kind of do my own thing, living for self. No, that doesn't work that way. Right. If you're living for self, you're, you're living for your earthly father. Yeah. Satan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in 2 Timothy. chapter 3, Paul is giving some instruction to Timothy. First, some warning, then to kind of let him know what his calling is and what he should be busy about. One thing, human nature, the sinful nature that we were born with, not the one that God gave us, selfish you don't have to learn it you don't have to work at it you're born with a selfish nature well it's easy to see this we probably have all seen it one time you 
take two infants, sit them there before you and give each one of them a cookie. Should be satisfied, happy, man, I got a cookie. Nope, I want that cookie. I want both cookies. Where'd they learn that from? Nobody had to teach them that. That's, that's in us. So that nature, if it doesn't, doesn't change by coming in contact with the Savior, Christ, that just perpetuates. It, it, it grows and it, it increases. So then you have adult infants going around that are even more selfish. And I want just not my cookie. I want everybody else's cookie. Right. You know, it's all about what makes me happy. Right. True religion. Not man-made religion, godly religion. Amen. True love, not the world's definition of love. They have no clue. Godly definition of love is self-sacrifice. Yes. How do we know this? Because he proved it and gave us the example. God gave his only begotten son. Yes. Amen, Whosoever should believe on him should have eternal life. Yeah. And yet, while we were yet sinners, not, not when you got to the place that you were worth it or good enough, or while you were still filthy and selfish and everything else, even then, God still he sent a sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. He gave us an example and showed us what that looked like. Yeah. Our life isn't our own. That's right. Yeah. That's true. That's right. Know ye not that you're the temple of the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Yeah. That you're bought with a price. Yeah. We don't belong to ourselves. We like to yeah. think that we do. But you were redeemed. What does that mean? I was purchased back. Yes. 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 Praise God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter three, Paul begins to just kind of fill him in. Let him know what's getting ready to take place, the world around us. And if this was relevant. A little over 2,000 years ago, only imagine how relevant it is today. This know also that in the last days, perilous times, dangerous times, shall come. They're here. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Selfish. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, that means simply they have no self-control, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God. We're there, church. Amen. This is the world that we're living in. He was warning Timothy of things that were going to be coming. Right. We're experiencing it now. Yes. Yes. Amen. Did it exist then? Yes. yes. But it ex exists in a greater magnitude today than it ever has. Right. Verse 5, having a form of godliness. There's a lot of religious people out there that don't know God. But denying the power thereof, from such, turn away. He's given Timothy some advice. Don't get yourself mixed up with them. Right. We get the idea or we, are, we, we think that we, we got to go and, and be buddies with the world in order to win the world. It don't work that way. Right. 
I've been around long enough. I've been in church long enough that I've, I've witnessed it over and over again. More times than not, the Christian that, that, that dabbles in the places that he has no business and, and hanging with the people that they got no business hanging with. He, he doesn't win them. They turn them. They, they suck them right back into that life that they, they got saved from and, and ran away from. That just destroyed them. Paul's given Timothy some good godly advice. These kind of people, and, and especially that, that's coming on the heels of just not everyone, but especially those that are portraying and giving a, a front of Christianity, godliness, but they really don't know God. How do we recognize them? Oh, you're, there you go. You're, you're judging. But every time we get that thrown in our face. Let me give you some, some information from, from Scripture. You are supposed to judge. Hallelujah. If you can't judge, if you can't discern, you're going to be deceived. We are called to judge. We're not called to be judgmental. That's right. That's the difference. But if I can't determine between right and wrong and make a judgment call on that, I got no chance. Right. So we are to judge when we see those that, that saying they're Christians, saying that they're godly, saying that they know God, but we, we compare that, we judge it according to the word of God, and it doesn't line up, something is wrong. Amen. That's right. and, and Paul's saying, listen, don't get caught up in that, Timothy. Those people that do that, turn away. Get away from them. Yes. They're going to corrupt you. They'll destroy you. Yes. Hallelujah. Verse 6, for this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Selfish individuals living themselves for themselves and only for them. Move over to chapter 4 with me. Here's what you're supposed to be about, Timothy. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing at his kingdom. That's the living and the dead. He, he's letting Timothy understand. Listen, you've heard me say this much recently. We've got to know this. One day you will stand before God and give an account. Amen. Amen. Whether you're alive or whether you've died, everyone, the living and the dead, yes. Timothy, the quick, the living yes. and the dead, Hallelujah. shall stand before Jesus Christ and give an account right. of your life. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Well, it's my life. I'll live it the way I want to. and no, Nobody's going to be affected but me. No, it affects everybody around you. Verse 2 is a response to what he's warning him of in verse 1. Again, human nature. Selfish. Do what we want to do. Live the life that we want to live. So he, he gave Timothy the, the warning of, of the world of what it's going to look like and where people are headed and what's going to take place. Now he's making it personal to him. One day, everyone's going to stand before God and give an account. So, so knowing that Timothy, see, he also warned Timothy that, that things were going to get difficult for him. Right. That he, he would be persecuted for the cause of Jesus Christ. That it wasn't going to be easy to serve God. But understand this. In spite of anything that, that happens and what you go through, you're still going to stand before God and give an account for what you did and what you Amen. didn't do. Amen. So, so knowing that, Timothy, now we have verse 2. Preach the word. Oh, yes. Come on, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Preach the word. Be instant. In season. Amen. Out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. It's not going to be easy, Timothy.
Timothy. There's going to be times that you're going to want to give up. You're going to want to quit. You're not going to understand why things are coming against you. That you made the decision to step out and to do what God has called you to do. And you're going to question that. But understand that one day you're going to stand before God and give an account for what you did or what you didn't and didn't do. Amen. So don't be thrown off by the things that happen. Be more afraid of the fact that you're going to have to stand before God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And knowing that, get out there, boy. Do what you're supposed to do. Yes. Yes. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. For the time will come when they will not endure or accept Sound doctrine, boy, has it come. You want to run into conflict? Tell somebody the truth. Concerning God. You don't think that Jesus is real? You you go out and talk religion pretty freely with people. You might get on a few things that might ruffle some feathers, but no big deal. You can even talk about God. Mm. Come on. Come on. Might get a little more. Mm. Bring up Jesus and see what happens. That's right. Amen. Mm. Amen. You want to see people get angry? Yes. Come on. Come on. Right. You want to see people's spirits change instantly? See, the devil don't care that you believe in God. He don't care that you're religious. He loves it. But as soon as you start to bring out Jesus, then he starts getting irritated. Why is that? Because there's no other name given in heaven and earth. By the must be there's no other way to heaven. All roads lead to Rome. No, they don't. Thank you, Lord. Most of them are dead ends. Well, we can, we can appreciate this and everything around us. Most of them are detours. <laughs> Get all the way down the road. Well, Brother Kenny, the road's closed. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Turn around and go back, right? Amen. <laughs> Amen, bro. That's right. Amen. Amen. The time will come when they will not accept, endure, sound doctrine. But after their own lust, their own selfishness, because that's who people are. Shall they heap to themselves, teachers? Well, I believe this. Well, I believe in Santa Claus. I'm stupid, ain't I? Amen. <laughs> you can believe whatever you want to. Don't make it right. I'm sorry, Skylar. I just ran Christmas for you. <laughs> he to themselves, teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables, lies, make believe, fiction. Yes. Yes. But watch thou in all things. He, he, he's. he's Instructing Timothy, this instruction is to the church, to us. Watch in all things, endure afflictions. You're going to be afflicted as a Christian. If you hold to the truth, if you teach the truth, if you live the truth before those around you, you're going to be afflicted. Yeah. Right. Endure it. Yeah. Amen. I don't know if it was in Sunday school or Bible study or when we had this discussion, they all. I'll become one after a while. Yeah. We've talked about that. Especially as a pastor. Yeah. The excuses that I have heard. Yeah. Why people quit coming to church. Why they quit serving God. They're giving up. They're not doing it. And I, I'm sure the expression on my face <laughs> says it all. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> That's all it took? Man, Satan had to love that fight. That was easy. Push one button. Some somebody not greet them at church today and they're done? Wow. 
That was easy. You know it. You know it's true. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Then Paul, what a what a statement. Every one of us better have this testimony. For I am now ready to be offered. He knows that he's coming to the end of his life. Whatever it is that he was going to do for God, he better have had it done by now because his life is coming to an end and he knows it. I'm now ready to be offered. I'm, I'm leaving you, Timothy. And the time of my departure is at hand. I, I'm, I'm checking out of here. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Amen. You better be able to say that right up until the bitter end. Amen. Everything that life threw at me that I had to endure, that I had to put up with for the sake of serving Christ. Yeah. I did it. Amen. I didn't give in. I didn't quit. The Lord. I didn't listen to what the enemy tried to tell me. I endured. I stayed the course. I fought my fight. The course that God had laid before me. Hey, Timothy, you fight your fight. You run your course. God has one. It may not look just like mine. There's going to be some similarities that we all go through, but each person's path is going to be somewhat different. Don't run your course. Don't fight your fight based on what you see. My course and my fight and what I'm going through. You live your life for God the way you're supposed to live your life. Amen. Just make sure you're doing it in obedience and, and understanding of who God is in your life. Amen. I fought a good fight. Man, I hope I can say that. I'm trying. It gets hard sometimes. It gets difficult. Come on. But to be able to get to the end and with confidence say, you know what? I gave it everything yes. I had. Yes. Thank you, Lord. No regrets. Yes. Finished my course. I've kept the faith. And because of this, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Oh, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. One day, yes, Timothy, I already told you, you're going to stand before God and give an account. So am I. And I'm confident in the way that I lived and what I did and that I endured and I fought a good fight and I gave it everything. And because of that, when I stand before him, he's going to give me a crown of righteousness. Hallelujah. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only. It's not just for me, Timothy. But to all of them that also that love his appearing. So what's he telling Timothy? This life isn't your life. Yes, you can go and, and, and try to fulfill it with all the things that people seek after. The money, positions, possessions, the cars, the houses, whatever it is that's important, people, families. In and of themselves, there's nothing wrong with that stuff. But when that's what your purpose is in, when that's what drives and motivates you, and that's what you're all about, then there's a problem. I'd rather be living in a cardboard box on the side of the road knowing that I'm going to heaven one day than to have a mansion and all the possessions that any person can have here on this earth and miss it. If I was... A, 
incredible he's able to live to be a hundred not many people do that nowadays that would be a long time to live it's over in a flash I told this before I remember we were at Faith and we were celebrating Sister Carrie's birthday was she 80 that year 80 I remember brother Rick asking her how'd you get to be 80 Sister Carrie I don't know. I just woke up one day and there I was. <laughs> it happens like that, don't it? I don't know what happened. I just woke up and here I am. It's over like that. Can you even begin, no you can't, to imagine eternity? Whatever you have to face in this life, it's over in a flash. You know, we talk about the, 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 the weather around, you know, you know, same thing with conditions of life. You, you don't like where, or where you're at, things are bad and tough and difficult, just, just hold on, it's going to change. Yeah. That new wind's going to blow in, it's going to bring some new weather and it, it'll change. Yeah. Bad news is, you're on top of the world, don't get too used to it, it's going to change too. Amen. Life has its ups and downs, it's a, it's a roller coaster, but, but whatever it brings... It, it, and I know you've heard me say this before, and I, I, I am sincere. Not that I want to live this way, but if I if I had the most miserable life of any human being that ever existed, and it lasted for a whole hundred years, everybody's like, "Man, that'd be horrible." Yeah, I'm not saying I want it, but if that's how it was, but I was able to enter into eternity. In the presence of God, in His glory, in heaven, it's worth it. Amen. But here's the other side of that. How horrible would it be to have that kind of life, and then at the end of it, not to know God, and enter into eternity worse? In hell. What shall a man gain? What in this life is worth? Come on now. Name me one thing, and I'll give you permission to shout it out. It's worth trading for eternity. There's nothing. That's right. Nothing. Who are you living your life for? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't belong to you. Yeah. Well, in our selfish mind, we think it does. It's my life. Oh, you control the next breath you take? No. Really? You, you, you tell that heart whether to keep beating or not? Really? No. When we really understand not how little, but the fact that we have no control. You have no control over anything. Come on now. I'm just bringing down the reality. Well, I'll do this. I'll do that. Show you up. It's all in his hands. Every bit of it. And when we understand that, and we give it to him, and we have lived that life the way that he's asked us to live, then we can have that same confidence at the end of it that Paul had. It's about to be over, but I'm all right. Amen. Gave it all that I got. You know what? I'm going to close with a poem. You didn't know I was a poet, did you? No. Well, I'm not. I didn't write it. <laughs> Some of you, no doubt, have heard a couple of lines from this poem. I knew those two lines. I've heard them for years. But until I searched it, I didn't know that there was a whole poem around it. So it's written by Charles Thomas Studd, better known as C.T. Studd, was a British missionary. Let's see, 1883 to 1913. 
so it's been around for a while. Called only one life to live, twill soon be passed. Some of you probably are familiar with, with that part there. Two little lines I heard one day, traveling along life's busy way, bringing conviction to my heart and from my mind would not depart. Only one life to live, twill soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life, yes, only one. Soon will its fleeting hours be done. Then in that day, my Lord to meet and stand before his judgment seat. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life, the still small voice, gently pleads for a better choice, bidding me selfish aims to leave and to God's holy will to cleave. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life of few brief years, each with its burdens, hopes, and fears, each with its clays I must fulfill, living for self or in his will. Only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. When this bright world would tempt me sore, when Satan would a victory score, when self would seek to have its way, then help me, Lord, with joy to say. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Give me, Father, a purpose deep. In joy or sorrow, thy word to keep. Faithful and true, whate'er the strife, pleasing thee in my daily life. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Oh, let my love with fervor burn. And from the world now let me turn. Living for thee and thee alone, bringing thee pleasure on thy throne. Only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life, yes, only one. Now let me say, thy will be done. And when at last I'll hear the call, I know I'll say, twas worth it all. Yes. Only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. And when I am dying, how happy I'll be if the lamp of my life has been burnt out for thee. Amen. I didn't realize there was all of that that went to that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're going to burn our life out for somebody. Too often we're, we're running ourselves ragged, burning it out self. We're selfish. It's who we are by nature. But when we come to a true understanding and relationship with Jesus Christ and truly give him control and we begin to live that life for him then the sacrifices begin to be made. Thank you, Lord. Brother Kenny brought it up in Sunday school this morning and all of those things, as I said, that we, we spend our time in, in pursuit of, they're, they're only a problem when, as I said, that, that's what life is about for us. That's, that's the meaning of our life. Right. But God's word is so true, and I can, perfect example, can look at my life, and I've seen it and witnessed it in many others. And when we seek the kingdom of God, We put that first. Yeah. Then all those other things that life is about, he says, I'll freely give them to you. Right. He, he doesn't want you to not have family and not in, right. experience and enjoy the good things of life. Mm -hmm. He just has to be first. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And when we switch that around and we're seeking those things, we almost never find them. Yeah. Yeah. But if we'll put him first, without even thinking about it, I've, I've received those things. <laughs> and so will you, because God wants us to have those things. Amen, but he's got to be first. Yes. Stand with me, church. <laughs> Here it is, truth time again. Truth with yourself. Who are you living your life for? What's important to you? What, what's it all about? 
Are you going through trying to fulfill all of the things of life that we desire, or is it about God? When we get to the end, I'm not saying this to scare anybody. I, I'm, just, I'm all about truth. When we get to the end, which none of us knows when that is, you know, everything's going good. We're feeling healthy. You know, I got, I got years. Do you? Do you? Many times I'll tell the, the young people, the teenagers, because they're the ones that Satan deceives with this the most. You got all the time in the world. And I always challenge them. Go to the cemetery and take a look around and check the dates on the tombstones. Tell me how many young people you see there. I'm sure they thought they were going to live to be 70, 80 years old. Certainly didn't didn't expect that they were going to die at 12, 13, 14. Don't wait until it's too late. Make up your mind who you're going to give your life for because it's going to be worth it. When you stand before the Lord and you have to give an account and you can, as Paul with confidence, say, I gave it all to you, God. What a shame to stand before him and say, I didn't give you the time of day. It was all about me. It's too late then. So truth time. Where do you stand? I can't answer that for you, but you got to be honest with yourself. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So as we end in prayer today, as always, altar call. Thank you, Lord. Anyone that will come find a place to get before God. Make sure that you know that you know that everything is the way that it's supposed to be between you and him before you leave this place today. And if you're not sure, you can be sure. Amen. If you need somebody to pray with you, we'll pray with you. Amen, amen. Come, everyone, please come Thank find you your place to pray with you. Thank you, Jesus.
of us are still searching. Come on now. You'll come to the same conclusion that I have and many others have. Hopefully you will. Yeah. There ain't nothing that can take the place of that yeah. walk with the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. But we uh we won't be having a service at the the regular evening service. Hopefully you all came ready to, to eat. Anybody hungry? Yeah. 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 Me too. <laughs> Me too. But we're uh, going to have dinner this morning or afternoon now, I guess. Dinner this afternoon and then uh, they got games and all kinds of things lined up for that. And then uh, we'll, we'll see how, how it goes if uh, everybody's still awake. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try to have something uh, short at the end of that for uh, uh, just a singing or something we may gather outside I don't think it's supposed to be too terribly hot today so thank, thank the Lord for that thank you. Uh, any other announcements? Wednesday Wednesday tomorrow at 6.30 Wednesday tomorrow at 6.30 we'll probably be plenty enough food left over that we don't have to bring anything but we'll see what's the date? <laughs> 31st yeah 31st <laughs> Yeah. Do you guys know? Did you see Shereya's letter from the school that it said Thursday the thirty first? Did you see that? Uh, <laughs> see? Are you sure you want to go to that school? Uh, <laughs> I'm not the secretary there either. Just so you know. I was thinking. Yeah, it wasn't me. Amen. Ask Brother Kennedy if he'll come pray over the lunch today. Actually, he, he might as well since. It's all for his 70th birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. May you find surprise. I I knew that woman. <laughs> Seventy-year-old going to be anyway. Boy, oh, woman, I'm telling you. Did you know? Now, no, I don't know. Good. That's good. Then it works. Good. Good. Well, oh my. Brother, Brother Kenny, Sister Annie, you've been here with the, the the church almost from the beginning. Not not quite, but pretty close. Uh, he has certainly been a uh, blessing to me. Uh, helps me out. <laughs> depend on him greatly and blessing to the church he does Amen. a lot to maintain yeah. and Amen. take care of the church and get things done and uh, we, we appreciate you brother thank you Lord. Yes, thank Lord. Lord. Thank you. we wanted to get over something for you just to, just to show a token of our appreciation there's not a new car out there what do you think? <laughs> I, was, I was well I better not say that I'll just say that <laughs> uh, right, well, here, if you close your eyes <laughs> you have to trust me. I, 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 I'll trust you. You're tough. Boy. You have to trust me. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on. Just a minute. Now they're slow. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right we, 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 we left this at Brother Greg's hand, so you know how that went. Oh, my. <laughs> Help me, Lord. He's running around outside there. I don't know. Help me, Lord. <laughs> we, we had a talk with a little birdie. Should be sitting in that second row over there. Somebody Maybe. Somebody take Maybe. a picture, please. You have it? Somebody get ready? Oh, my. All right. Open your eyes. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, just That's my she side. I thought it was a walker. <laughs> 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 well, that's good. Oh, 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 o
Well, you know, coming from you. I wish I would have thought of that. I see my shadow. Okay. Oh man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Grace, Prince DJ. God must have had some beautiful things in mind for His world when He made you. You're gonna make me cry. Oh, that's the Lord. Well, he gave me a warm smile to reflect his goodness, his goodness, wherever you go, a strength of faith that inspires others. And a kind and caring heart that was born to bless so many for his everlasting love. Happy birthday, love love y'all. I love y'all too. When you get good at that. My garden needs to be Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's just what I wanted. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. All right. All right. Let's all stand. We won't make him pray for his own dinner. Brother, can we cross through the line first? Yeah. Thank you, family. Guess what? Well, that's <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Let's. Let's bow our heads and we'll dismiss a prayer and pray over them. Lord, we just thank you for this day that you've blessed us with. Lord, we thank you for Brother Kenny, what he's meant to us and our family and to the church. Lord, just ask that you continue to bless them, use them for your glory. Lord, go with each and every one of us through the remainder of this day. Watch over us. Keep us in your care and protect us, Lord. Help us more than anything to shine forth your light in this lost and dying world. We ask that you would bless the food that we're about to receive, Lord, and those that have prepared it. We just give you all the praise today. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Love you all. Happy birthday, Brother Kenny. Love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me get the weight cleared up. Let me.